channel today I'm here with a review and demo of the May Lindstrom skin the problem solver this is a correcting mask it is a powder mask that you mix with other products like water but you can pretty much mix it with anything that you'd like uh, so far I've only mixed it with water so that is what I can talk to you about but this was purchased from beautylish.com it is $90 which is a steep price tag but you get 8.45 fluid ounces and you don't need to use much at all in order to create your mask so this is a powder mask as said before you mix it with water so the directions say to use one tablespoon of powder and one tablespoon of water at first I didn't use this mask correctly I would probably use like a tablespoon of each but then the thing was I wouldn't measure the water either so my mask would be super runny and watery and I'm like oh my gosh like it's running down my face and I've ruined some white shirts because of this but after I started using this correctly uh, I realized that yeah wow this is great uh, it turns into this moussey texture like legit it turns into like mousse it turns into mousse and it becomes this pitch black mask that you just paint onto your skin and then you wait for it to dry instructions say to let it dry for 45 minutes and so when i was using this incorrectly i'm like oh like it's taking like 10 15 minutes to dry like do i really keep it on for 45 minutes but when you do this correctly you mix it correctly it will take like 45 minutes to dry so this mask is a correcting mask as it says on the bottle it works to detox the skin rid it of impurities tighten pores and after looking at some of the ingredients i realized that it does have a little bit of sorbic acid which is vitamin c and that helps to brighten the skin whether or not it has enough of that to really brighten your skin i don't know but that is a possibility perhaps with continuous use this is how the product looks like uh it's this really like kind of dark green olive clay and when you mix it with water it turns into this pitch black color which is really it's really cool to watch it like transform and when you mix it you can kind of hear it like sizzle and fizz so that's that's how you know that it's working that like it's mixing well um, it also has this really, I don't want to say delicious, but has this really great smell of spices. It has this beautiful scent of cinnamon and it smells so freaking good. It's not like cinnamon cinnamon, but it kind of reminds me of like chai tea. Uh, it does contain cinnamon, nutmeg, lavender. Uh, so it does have a lot of spices in it, but those are ingredients that are lower down the list. So there aren't as many. Uh, it also contains things like clay. It has Russell clay in it. Uh, so that's probably why it is clay, a clay mask like it's clay based those are the most prominent ingredients in this mask it also contains raw cocoa in it which is really interesting it has a lot of these ingredients are all natural organic they're all like certified organic which is really really great uh, so if you're one of those people who really loves like natural organic ingredients in your product this line is definitely a must-have for you for the two months that i've been using it i've really really come to love this mask it's so nice and luxurious on your skin your skin feels really nice and soft and very very clean but it's not stripped of any moisture or essential oils that your skin needs and this is supposed to be suitable for all skin types and i can speak for that i mean i have combination skin but whenever i got this like at the time my skin was pretty much dry because of the winter weather so now my skin is a bit more combo my t-zone is getting a little bit more oily now so 
I can say that it's worked for my dry skin and for my combo skin. One thing though that I would say is that this isn't suitable for those of you with eczema or rasha or any type of skin condition that gets inflamed really easily. I do have eczema on my neck and one day I decided to try it on my neck when I was like, uh, like my eczema is not too bad. Like it's actually kind of going away for a bit. Like it'll go away for a bit. And then like after I washed it off, like my neck was just inflamed and it was red and it was not, it was not pretty at all. So I don't recommend you put it on any areas of your face or your skin. That's extremely sensitive, like with that kind of skin condition. But otherwise, like on your more normal areas, I think it works fine. I've read quite a few reviews and this has worked for a lot of people. It's worked for people with oily skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, combo skin. So it definitely works for all skin types unless you have that kind of skin condition. But pretty much I really, really love this product. It's become such an essential product in my, you know, my mask collection. It's probably been like the only one that I've been using for a while now. And I think I've been neglecting the rest of my mask because I've just been using this one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it with some other products, like mix it in with maybe like some tea or uh, I don't know how it would work with yogurt but maybe yogurt could work well as well. But don't don't let me like give you any ideas because I don't want to ruin your skin. So pretty much that is all for this review. I definitely recommend it for everyone unless you have extremely sensitive skin, like, you know, easily inflamed skin. It has definitely worked well for me and it's now like a staple in my routine. So pretty much that is it for this review and demo. Please let me know if you've tried this product and what are your thoughts on it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!